everyone and welcome to another very beautiful chess game of Paul Morphy and in this game Paul Morphy has the white pieces and his opponent is Alexander B. Fort Mac once again and this game has been played in Alabama in 1855 Paul Morphy starts the game with playing e4 e5 f4 king's gambit accepted knight to f3 g5 Bishop to c4, bishop to g7, h4, g4, attacking the knight. Paul Morphy played knight to g5, attacking on f7, defending with the knight, knight to h6, d4. And after this move, b4 make played f6, trapping the knight. But of course, Paul Morphy is sacrificing his knight with intention. For quick development, bishop takes on f4, pawn takes knight, bishop takes on g5, attacking the queen, how to defend, the only defense, bishop to f6. And at this moment of the game, it's very interesting because Paul Morphy could have captured the knight on h6, but he didn't care about the material and he played queen to d2 bishop takes bishop pawn takes bishop attacking the knight knight to f7 and black is having some problems because of lack of development black has a very crumpy position and also the king on e8 looks very vulnerable and on the other hand paul morphy has a very solid, comfortable attacking position. His pieces are active. This looks very bad for black. At move 11, in a very early stage of the game, unbelievable. For a sacrificed piece, Paul Morphy has a very good attacking position. And Paul Morphy played. Bishop takes knight on f7, that's check. And black is losing the casting rights. King takes on f7, queen to f4, check king to g8, and after this move, Paul Morphy castled. And now, Paul Morphy is threatening checkmate, queen to f7, defending the only defense, queen to e7, knight to c3, threatening to play knight to d5, c6, defending on d5, rook from a to e1, d6. And this is the key moment of the game. Paul Morphy played a killer move. And after that move, black is losing strategically. So can you guess the next move of Paul Morphy? Can you guess the winning move for white? Paul Morphy played knight to d5, attacking the queen and b4 mech captures the knight. Paul Morphy is sacrificing his knight. But let's take it back. If let's say saving the queen, queen to d7, then queen to f8, that's checkmate. If queen to d8, queen to f7, that's checkmate. Queen to g7, then queen takes on d6, threatening checkmate in two. Queen to d8, defending with the queen, queen takes queen, that's checkmate. So what else? Queen takes on d4, king to h1, queen to g7, queen to d8, queen to f8, queen takes queen, that's checkmate. So pawn takes knight. e takes on d5, attacking the queen. Queen to g7. Paul Morphy played a move. And Alexander B. Fort Mac had enough and he resigned. Paul Morphy played rook to e8. And this is all over for black. This is the art of the attack by Paul Morphy. And the one and only possible continuation is queen to f8. Queen takes queen, that's checkmate. So there is no defense after rook to e8. That's why Alexander B. Fort Mac 
resigned after Paul Morphy played Rook to E8. What a game! And I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.